Welcome back to the Ad Manager video series. My name is Orly, and this video will talk through how to create ad units in your Ad Manager account. If you haven't already, you should watch the previous videos in this playlist to help you plan your inventory structure. To get started with this video, you should already have your inventory structure mapped out and have names ready for all of your ad units. Log into your Ad Manager account and click into your inventory tab. Select Add Units and then Create New Ad Unit. We'll now walk through creating a new ad unit. For the purpose of this video, we won't cover all of the optional fields, but if you are interested in using them, the Help Center provides excellent detailed descriptions of those fields and how to use them. The first part is the Settings section. Under Parent Ad Unit, you can select Top Level to create the highest parent ad unit or search for other ad units to make this a child ad unit. This will depend on your inventory structure. Let's use the example from our last video, where we have a homepage with a parent ad unit and child ad units on all of the sub pages. Let's leave this as top level. Then add your ad unit's name. You should name all of your ad units using a standard taxonomy. If you watched our last video, this is where your nomenclature comes into play. You should use a standard naming structure for all of your ad units to help you keep track of them. You can duplicate the name for the code and add a description if you'd like. Next, scroll down to the sizes section. Select an option from the drop down, either fixed size or smart banner. For most ad units, you'll probably be using fixed size. You should use smart banner though if this is an ad unit for a mobile app and you want the ad unit to have a fixed height but filled the width of the screen. If you've selected fixed size, add in your ad unit size in the sizes category. And if this is a video ad, make sure you add your video ad sizes in the video or audio sizes section. Next, scroll down to target window and reward. Target window tells the browser where to open an ad landing page when the user clicks on it. If top is selected, the landing page will load in the same window. If blank is selected, the landing page will open in a new window. Reward is an optional setting to include the reward a user might receive for watching a video ad. If this doesn't apply to your ad unit, you can skip this section. If you scroll down, you'll see the placement section below. Placements are also an optional setting. If you wanna learn more about placements, visit the Ad Manager Help Center for more information. Finally, scroll down to the section that includes AdSense, frequency caps, refresh rate, and labels. Most of these are optional categories, so if you're interested in learning more, you can check out the Ad Manager Help Center. But one important step is on the AdSense section. Make sure you check the box next to AdSense that says maximize revenue of unsold inventory with AdSense. This ensures that even if you don't have any other demand for that inventory, AdSense can still serve an ad there. Adjust the optional settings if needed and click Save. You now have your first ad unit. Congratulations! You can repeat this process for all of your ad units in your inventory. Thanks so much for tuning in today and I hope you found this video helpful. For more support, you can find links to our Help Center in the description below. And make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on our latest tips for Ad Manager. See you next time.